Hey everybody, hopefully you can see me. I am in the process of getting the stream set up here, so bear with me. Oh, look at that. Look at that, I think we are actually on. Let's see. Amazing. There we are. Guys, guess the people starting to pop in now. Let's see here we got... Uh, let's see... Hey, we got a net gardener. Hey, how are ya? Thanks for popping in tonight. Make sure that we start getting some people in. Ashley, hey, how are ya? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Maria, hi, how are you? Colette, thank you for staying up so late as always. Thank you for hanging out. We appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. We got Kristen in there. Thank you guys. Michelle, this is Moon. Hey guys. Uh, just uh, getting everything set up here, and uh, we will get started in just a second. D is going to be here very shortly. So um, do me a favor, guys. Go ahead and uh, share this video to your page. Just hit the little share button at the very bottom, and uh, let everybody know that uh, you're hanging out with us here. Um, let's see. We got Jennifer. We got Samantha. We got Anita, Julie, uh, Sherry Ann, Cindy, um, Joseph, Bonnie, Aaron. Wow, we got a lot of people popping in. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Really do appreciate it. Um, uh, Sheila, <laughs> we already got a hashtag from earlier. So D and I um, did a, a live earlier on my page, and uh, it's a long story short, but my agents like to harass me with, um, they'll just pop in the middle of everything. And if you guys remember that old ancient song, Pump Up the Jam, it drives me insane. And what they like to do is they like to actually just like, you know, FaceTime me, call me, email me, text me, and basically say, hey, hey, Moon, pump up the jam. So um, it gets stuck in my head. So uh, somehow today we were talking about going to the gym and all these different things. And uh, we said, um, you know, pump up the taco because we we're talking about how the tacos down here will make you gain a lot of weight because that's, that's how it works down here. The tacos are so good that you will gain a lot of weight. But anyway, um, so I, just, I said, okay, anybody who uses the hashtag uh, pump up the taco gets 10% off their reading. <laughs> So it's it's kind of blown up today. We've had a lot of people who've, uh, who've definitely taken advantage of that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, let's see here. We got Leslie. Hey, good to see you, Leslie. Um, we got Scotty. Uh, let's see. Scotty says, what's some of the stuff you have seen through this? Hmm, I think you mean the paranormal. Boy, I've seen a lot. Uh, we'll get into that. Um, Ron says hello. We got Lori. Hello from Ohio. How are you? Teresa, hey, how, what's going on? So Teresa today, we just got done with this huge workout, and I was like, yeah, I already lost some weight. And the next thing you know, she's like, hey, why don't you celebrate by going and getting a taco? I was like, I think you're missing the point of what we're trying to do here. <laughs> so anyway, we got uh, Dee popping on. Hi, everybody. We got a lot of people in here. Awesome. Uh, Sandy's in here. Uh, Hi. Layla uh, from Hawaii. Hey, Hawaii. Hey. I think that's our first Hawaii person. Thanks for Amazing. tuning in. Amazing. Hi. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome. And I said tuning sure. in. Did you hear me? So I said thank you for tuning in. Well, yeah, how are you guys <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, Box Talk Day. I'm sure you already gave them all the welcome to Box Talk. I'm, so, I'm saying hi to everybody who's coming in right now. We're so happy to have everybody God, here. Gago, Armini. Bobby Ann Merritt. Hi. We got Los Angeles in here. We got uh, yeah, Bobby. Awesome. Well, hey, it's been a long time. Yes, Rebecca, Julie, Anita. Wow, this is Heather. Pump <laughs> up the jam. Thank you, Heather. You're not going to drive me crazy by doing that. Uh, we just Pump discussed up the it. gym. Bex says hello from Australia. We got a lot Hi. of people. Hey, you know what's so cool, guys, is that we actually we have a lot of box talkers from Australia, and that is so awesome. Um, we should take a trip out there. We should. That'd be a lot of fun to the land down under. My favorite band is from there, ACDC, so it just makes sense. We'll just we'll go there. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, God, guys, we just have so many people. Anyway, we're going to get to the show, guys. We just want to say hi to everybody really quickly. Promise we will start talking here in a minute. Um, boy, okay, lots of people, lots of people. Okay, uh, Kristen Holmes. Hi, Kristen. Uh, good to see you in here. Hi. Uh, Chris Adams, Joanne Ward, Mike Page. You guys are just awesome. Oh, my God, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Thank you so much. Oh my God, what's wrong with me today? I can't talk. I, I was going to say, it seems like you've made the decision not to speak clearly today. You know what happened is the, we were working and we worked out a lot today. We did work out we a lot today. We did the gym and we hit it and we, yeah, and we, we were there. We, did a, we had a good gym workout and then we came home. We, we ate small. We ate food. very small meal. Like we are, we're really serious about this, guys. I mean, you're going to see us like this real soon because we're like, 
we're taking it through. I mean, oh, we're not even gosh. eating much, which is, I mean, we're eating healthy, but not much. Like, I ate like a rabbit today, right? Yeah, really did. My dinner was just greens, spring yes. greens. That's what it was. Baby spinach and, you know, all the, the baby greens. That's what I had for dinner and the little bits of chicken on the top with raspberries. And mm. I, I had chicken chopped up in a bowl with salsa and cheese poured on top. Yeah, because you don't but, eat the salad. But I mean, it's a sauce, it's the uh, queso fresco, so it's not the fatty cheese. Anyway, but we didn't eat much. It was very, very light for us, and so we're really mm. home. But Beth Evans, we love you too. We love um, you. Oh, Anita says we're cute together. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you. that. So I guess that's why I'm not speaking clearly, because I'm like hungry, hungry, trying to ignore we're it. We're probably at that point where we're I losing our water. minds. So I didn't bring water. Damn. Do you want me to bring you water? No, it's okay. I'll share okay. water with you. It's okay. okay. Okay, so you guys are so awesome. I'm just looking right now. Um, New Zealand, you guys. Um, for those who are new here, I'm going to say this really quickly, and we will get into the show. Um, we just like to take a few minutes usually at the beginning of the show and say hi to everybody, and thank you all for tuning in. And, um, you know, Hello. Like letting you know that we, we love each and every one of you, and without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. So um, the one thing that, that we really like to encourage is the people who are watching right now, all of you out there, whether you've been here uh, for since the beginning or right now, uh, mm -hmm. you are our box talkers. You are the people who make everything happen uh, here. Uh, you're the people who keep everything moving, um, and you're the reason that we do this show uh, because we like to hang out with you. We like to spread positivity. Our hashtag, for those who don't know, is No Darkness Allowed, and, that, and we mean that. Um, we, we try to keep this as positive as we possibly can, and we try to keep things moving in the right direction. Uh, we're going to have some paranormal discussion for you. We're going to do some psychic readings. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a psychic medium. Dee is a psychic medium. I'm most well known for using the ghost box. Dee is most well known for uh, using the cards and, and uh, doing a lot of healing and things along those lines. So um, we're going to answer some questions for you guys. Uh, we're going to get into it. Uh, once again, if you don't mind, please share uh, the video. Just hit that little share button at the bottom. Let people know what you're doing. And hopefully we'll get more box talkers coming in because that's what this is all about. Uh -huh. So... Anyways, um, one thing I want to touch base on, let's go ahead and do a couple of uh, second questions. Sure. Uh, we'll do a couple of mini readings for you guys. If you have any questions for us, if you need to have something answered, uh, we'll go ahead and do a quick reading for you, and then we're going to mix in some news and notes and all the kind of crazy stuff that we're doing, and hopefully just have some conversations with you today. Basically, it's a time for everybody to get together here, tune in, we do some paranormal talks, psychic readings, and just spread positively, posit blah, and there I go again. Spread positivity and love and light and um, just it, it, it becomes a teaching moment for all of us, even for us, yeah. you know, helping helping everybody sort of uh, in, in, in that process of reaching your higher self and your spirituality and growing and and just following that that divine path, you know, that making that connection to spirit and to your higher self and. You know, we just all kinds of questions, angel numbers, synchronicities, meditation. We just we like to talk about it all. It's all about this is like your spiritual hour in in, in spiritual hour in growth and how to just uh, be able to identify when the universe is trying to speak to you. I want to jump in mm -hmm. uh, because we have something that just popped up. Uh, Chanel uh, Fletcher wants to say, D, I have an update for you on your prediction for my son Jackson. He is improving and finally getting the help he needed, just like you said. That's, guys, that's everything to us, right? That validation when we get you guys coming back saying, hey, it turned out the way that you said it would, and I was prepared for it, and uh, that, that's the greatest thing that possibly happen for us. Mm -hmm. It's just Definitely. great to see you guys succeed, and that's, we, we kind of live vicariously through you. You know, we want to make sure everybody's doing well. So thank you for the update. We love getting those. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and jump into a question. we got Colleen Oliveri. Uh, I am with someone, but want to be with someone else. Problem is, he's also with someone. Help, please. Well, we know a little something about that one, don't we? Got some expertise in that one. <laughs> we can share with you on that. I made her laugh. Look, that's funny. Yeah. Sometimes okay. we speak from a psychic sense, and sometimes we speak from experience, and sometimes from both. And in this case, it would be from both. Um, Colleen, one thing that I would like to say to you right off the bat, some advice for you is, the quicker you move, the better off you'll be. Um, it's like pulling off the band-aid. You need to uh, assess the situation, obviously, don't do anything dangerous, but when it comes down to it, you're only hurting that other individual that you're with because they're living a lie right now. It's, just not, it's not good truth. And I feel like uh, there's already some friction, there's already some breaking going on in that relationship. I don't feel like it's going to be a, a huge shock 
uh, for the individual you're with. Now, on the other side, I do feel it's going to be a little more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I want to make sure before you make any moves going forward, the individual that you want to be with is willing to take that major step with you because yes. um, if they're not willing to 100% commit to you, uh, you're going to be left. Yeah, you're going to find yourself alone. You're going to be floating out there, and uh, that's not a good place to be. Um, yeah, definitely, I agree with you. Make sure that this, I, and the reason why it, I think it's coming from both of us saying make sure, because I kind of feel like there's a bit of hesitation on one of the sides, and I'm picking up it's not so much on your side, but it's on the other individual. And not that, that the other individual doesn't want to be with you, it's just that there's some hesitation there. You know, change can be difficult, but the main thing is if you're not happy, remember, and this goes for everybody out there, when you're, if you are not happy or satisfied in the position that you're in, you and only you have the power to change that and to make that change and to and to be happy and create your reality and, and be happy with with where you're at in your life. And uh, that doesn't make it a selfish thing. It just makes it that you're doing things. If you feel a pull, the universe is pulling you one way, you have to follow it. And yeah. uh, it's better for all those involved because you don't want to live a lie and you don't want to be lying to the person that you're with right now. You just, it, it's not fair on either side. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to the person you're with. And that's why sometimes it's best to say, hey, this is where I'm at. If you're not happy, then you need to make it so that you are happy. And, and when you are your happiest and when you're fulfilling that part of you, uh, you raise your vibration to a level where, you know, where you'll be in a better place to better serve and help those around you and, and, and raise them to their better good. So I agree, 100%. Uh, let's do another one. Uh, Maria Vega uh, says, hi, please, I need your help. Can you please tell me what is new bothering my daughter? Please, please, anything from my mom. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, this goes back to the house again. Um, I, I feel like there's definitely some issues still going on there. I think that that doorway... I was going to say portal doorway. There's something coming through. Th th it's still uh, open. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's still open. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I think we need to... Contact, if you're interested in doing this, Maria, we, I think we, the best thing we can do is, is help you actually do a remote uh, clearing of the location and then hopefully close that, that doorway. I do feel that there's a doorway or portal that's still open and there could be some sort of, I, I'm not feeling like the big D word, demon type thing, that's not what I'm yeah. feeling, but I do feel a lower line energy entity type, just something with a lower energy that's coming in and that's, uh, you know, the, the, what I'm sensing is almost like a leech type Right. Uh, like a leech type of presence that's just sucking that energy away and right. and and causing that that so uh, yeah really yeah. It, it's not in, it, she's not in a good place and, and and she does need protection she does need something to be done asap and I get uh, interruption in sleep is a big thing right now so let's let's uh, yeah contact us uh, message us and uh, we'll we'll sit down and figure that all out for you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got Leslie Johnson Martinez says, Chris and D checking on my sister. Can you tell me if what I did worked? We felt that night that it mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. We most definitely, Leslie, felt that night after what you did. We felt that it did work. We felt that she understood. Um, I feel that it it had to be you because it had to be your voice she heard and listened to. You guys were very close, and I feel that that brought her comfort and helped her uh progress and move on in her new existence helped her progress and move on and it had to come from you from your your comforting words is you know what helped her um she's still around uh, of course i do have to tell you that she's no longer stuck she's not in that middle ground she is still around she's around you i do feel that um the transition although it's complete there's still feelings on her part from Longing, I, right. I get that feeling, but it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, it's fresh, it's new, it just happened. She does miss you, but she is around you, she does see you. And I almost feel like she wants me to tell you this, and what she wants me to let you know is you need to keep pushing forward, and she doesn't want you to let anything slow you down. That's like the direct message that I just got right now. I, and I don't know why I had to say that. I don't know if, if there's something that you've been having trouble with or just this whole situation, but I, I do feel that she's telling me to let you know don't let anything slow you down right now. Keep pressing forward. Keep pushing forward. Definitely. Uh, one more quick one. We'll talk about some other stuff here really quickly. Uh, Mike Page says, okay, am I handling my direction in paranormal research correctly? Hmm. Um, boy, how do I put this? 
the, the message that immediately came to me was remember, do it for the right reason. Um, there was a reason that you got into this. You need to always go back to that that uh, message, that yearning, longing that you had. Um, I think it's very important that you, you always repeat that back to yourself uh, before you start the investigations because sometimes you can be led astray, you can be led off path. And, uh, and it's not coming from you. No. And I, I don't feel like, yeah, I don't feel like it's anything bad or negative, uh, but I do feel like you might need to redirect a little bit um, to get back on track. And um, but I do feel that overall you know, and you know, because you do know why you got to do you're doing it for all those reasons and everything. But I do feel, yeah, I, I, I feel that also here's another thing. Um, the questioning that, that you are feeling quite often about yourself, within yourself, that struggle, um, it, it needs to not exist because the, you understand the process and that the process is all about learning and that there's no um, specific way to go about in the research and in the learning. Um, it's okay to try new things, but remember, there's certain things that um, are just sort of a distraction and a waste of time when you're trying out these certain things. So just stick to what you know works and build on that. If that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, no, okay. that made a lot of sense. Leslie Johnson Martinez says, Thank you, Dean and Chris. You both are awesome. God bless you both. I love you both. We love you too. Thank you again for everything and tuning in. Um, really quickly, wanted to touch. Uh, and I also feel, I'm sorry, uh, going back to Mike Page, I had to say this. Mike, I do feel that you're going to continue to progress in your paranormal research, but like I said, distractions, the distractions, the things that are going nowhere, the things that are just going to deter you. Don't allow that to happen. Keep pushing forward. And I do feel that you're going to progress in that. You're going to do great things. I um, I don't know why I'm, I'm getting the, the need to say this. Uh, if you can already start writing small articles about your experiences. Start doing that. Start some sort of a blog of, of writing down, just journaling and documenting your experiences down, sort of annotating them, and, and put them out like in a, because I feel that that's going to help other people learn as well. I, I have felt the need to say that. Okay. Uh, Rebecca Price says, hey D and Mooney, I wanted to tell you that we finally got into our own place and it's perfect. That's good news. That's awesome. Uh, thank you for telling me that something good was going to happen. So that's awesome. Good validation. Uh, question, do you see if the person who owes us a lot of money will pay us back soon? It's not going to be no. soon. <laughs> I mean, other way, I, I know. I, I, right away, I get that feeling. It's not going to be soon. You're going to have to keep pushing, pushing, and pressing the issue. Um, I, I, if you're okay with accepting small payments, that might help them. Yeah. Um, but it's not going to be soon. Yeah, the, the, the lump sum aspect of it is going to only uh, delay it, if not stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say try to work it out in your own mind where uh, you can kind of Compromise a little bit and maybe go into smaller payments that might be more realistic and manageable. Um, Mike Page says, thank you so much on that. So God bless you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, let's. Uh, I just want to really quickly tell you guys about a couple of things that are happening. We'll jump yes. back into reading. And here we'll jump right back into reading. Um, we got some cool stuff that's happening. Um, for those of you who are in South Texas, uh, we wanted to tell you we are holding an event at a location called The Broken Sprocket. Which is a it's it's an interesting place. It's like an outdoor venue. Uh -huh. It's a food truck park mm -hmm. uh, with some awesome food and uh, kind of a weird beer and wine garden. So it's got like this nice covered area and they have bands and they've got all sorts of different things. It's a really kind of hip, cool place. Yeah, it is. Um, so anyway, the reason I mention that is on the 25th of uh, April, coming up here pretty quickly, we are actually going to be at the Broken Sprocket doing something that we came up with called. Psychic Salsa, <laughs> which is a whole new thing. I think that's, that's awesome, though. Yeah, it just kind of <laughs> came to us. Um, and what it's going to be is uh, Dee and I are going to be doing a gallery reading that night, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. And actually, Mama Moon's going to be with us. She might jump in, too. Oh, that yeah. Be a lot of fun. And uh, do a gallery reading for mm -hmm. everybody who's there, answer some psychic questions, demonstrate the tools, do all that kind of fun stuff. Have Gee, your mom will be there. That's right. That'll be awesome. Yeah. Um, and we're going to have a really good time doing it. You guys have to do I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> I just, I'm, not, I'm all excited because you guys have got to do the whole story of your background. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit okay, about that. Okay, go on. But anyway, so we're doing the, the psychic <laughs> gallery reading. And then right afterwards, her brother-in-law is uh -huh. a professional salsa instructor. His name mm -hmm. is Omar. He's a good-looking guy, and he likes to teach salsa. So women, of course, you can see how awesome that would be. <laughs> but the rest of the night, after we do our, our, uh, our psychic gallery, it's going to be a salsa dancing lesson night. It's going to be so much fun. So we're really looking forward to this. Tickets are only going to be $25 and the link is going to go up really soon for that mm -hmm. one. So I'm going to let you know. 
Um, so we'll get all that information out to you guys. You can always keep up with us on our, our box talk page and all the other pages that we have. Um, and then also, the following night on April 26th, which is a Friday, we are going to be doing Ghost Box Chronicles live on the Vidispace network. And if you guys don't know Vidispace, it's the network that's actually uh, owned by Nick Groff from Paranormal Lockdown and uh, Elizabeth Saint, Ghost of Shepherd Sound, all those different things. They have a network out there that's absolutely awesome. Check it out. It's vidispace.com. Um, it's a live streaming network. They have documentaries. They've got all kinds of things. But you guys can actually join us live for an investigation in Brownsville, Texas that we're going to have with Mama Moon. And uh, Jim's going to be down here with us. Right. And Debbie's going to be here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be really cool. That's going to be broadcast live on uh, Vidispace. And then the following night, we're doing a second night, which is going to be uh, live inside the box from a different location in Brownsville. Uh -huh. It's just that's, and that's going to be the, the filming slash event. Yes, filming slash Saturday. event. So we're actually going to be holding a paranormal event that night. You can actually come down and join us for a very low cost uh, to uh, watch the TV show live uh, while we're there mm -hmm. and actually investigate with us. We're going to have different packages and stuff, and you guys can hang out with us. Um, if you just want to come watch the show and hang out, there'll be one package. It's very inexpensive. And then if you're going to do the VIP thing, uh, it's a little more expensive, but it's well worth it. And, uh, yeah, and, you, and for those of you who can't make it down to Texas for that, you can watch that on Video Space Live, too. That's right. So that's going to be awesome. So, anyway, awesome, awesome. Just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what we're doing right now mm -hmm. some of the fun stuff that we've got going on. Uh, and, again, that's uh, I'm going to type that into the chat room while Dee talks to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and pick another question, if that's yeah, okay with you. We're jumping back into psychic readings. One that, that sort of um, sticks out to me is from Carol Miller, and she says, Hey, Dee and Mooney, my grandson got called back to the sea. Are him and that crew going to be okay? And the reason why this one popped out at me is because I do feel that they are going to be okay, that they are going to return. Um, your grandson, you know, he's going to be fine. I do sense, the worry that I'm sensing is actually the family's worry, which is totally valid. Yes. Um, completely. I do sense that worry and that um, concern, I, it's, it's, it's almost that fear, but I, I do want to tell you, just, you, you can calm that, put your, instead of putting your fears out there, put your faith out there, um, mm -hmm. just, um, ask for, for peace and guidance and ask for, uh, just to be a, you know, peace of mind, because one thing that I am being told over and over and over that he is going to be okay, so you can, I mean, it's still going to be, it, Obviously, when they, when they get called out like that, it's uh, it's something it, it's very worrisome, and, and it sticks with you, and it's your mind's constantly going to that, which is you know anybody in that position would 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 feel that way. I know my brother when I was younger, when I was in elementary school, my brother uh, went and served in Desert Storm as a Marine, and constantly it was just stress and worry, and you know we would go periods of time without hearing from him, and then he would finally call us and. It was just we didn't know what was going to happen. So whenever they get called out like that, and whether in, in any one of the um, armed forces, it's it's a scary time. So I'm just going to tell you, really, right now is the time for you to pray. Put your faith in the angels and in God, and pray to Archangel Michael, to um, Archangel Gabriel as well for peace, um, and um, just have faith in the universe, have faith in God, have faith in the angels that everything is going to be okay. Yes. Okay. Totally agree. Uh, Richard Herndon, uh, is my grandfather with me? I'm looking at your picture right now. Not Honestly, Richard, I, I'm not getting his energy around you at the moment, but I do feel like he does uh, visit you on a consistent basis. Um, I feel like he had to separate a little bit uh, because you were really reaching out to him a lot, and, and it was almost... Um, like a crutch mm -hmm. to him, he he, mm -hmm. he felt like he was he was uh, hampering you from moving forward and progressing. So yes, he is absolutely still around you. Um, it's just not uh, not as often as you might expect. Shane Smith, hi, how are you? Hi, Shane Smith. I hope oh. you're feeling better, by the way. I just want to say from Mike Page, says, D and Moon, you guys are very inspirational. Thank you, Mike. Thanks oh, so thanks. much for those kind words. Um, Carol Anzarella says, any message from my father? Well, who's the question? I lost it. Carol Ann Zarella. Zarella. Any message from my father? I'm getting, uh, I don't know if it's apology to you or him. I'm getting, I'm sorry. I'm getting a, a regret. I'm sorry. There's something about uh, the passing. Uh, it has to do, it's specifically about how he passed or how quickly he passed. Uh, there was definitely words left unsaid. Um, and, and 
Yeah, there's a regret that goes along with that, but it, it's nothing bad. It's just, I'm oh. also getting, um, I don't know if you're picking up on this, I'm also getting something about control, something about you need to regain control, or I don't know if it's you yourself or just refocus, but there's something that he's worried about you, and it's it's just you need to do an, an entire whole new refocusing and regaining control of different aspects of your life. And it's not like you're in a bad place or anything, it's just... I feel like he was always a worrier and always trying to look out for you and always telling you prioritize this and do that and always trying to tell you how to do things and I feel like he's still trying to do that from beyond so um, just you know know that. I want to read this one really quickly because mm -hmm. this is somebody I've actually been trying to reach out to recently and have not had the chance. Teresa McGowan, uh, Dean Winnie, just want to find out if the portal of my home is still closed because I've uh, started seeing shadow be uh, beings again. Love you guys. Yeah Teresa, I was actually uh, concerned about this one. This is something that we had discussed the other day. Um, I, I, I'm feeling like uh, something's changed there. I feel like an energy's changed there, and I feel like there might be some things creeping back in again. So please, um, I think we could probably help out with that. Get in touch with us and yes. we'll see what we can come up with. I'm mm -hmm. not going to go into details here. But uh, yeah, contact us privately. We're happy to do that. Um, Heidi Harrington says, Hi, Dee and Mr. Mooney. I'm from Lafayette, Indiana. Any messages for my mom? Um, Heidi, the one thing that I do pick up right now, coming from your mom, is she wants you to relax. She says, I'm you sorry. know, yeah, relax, be at peace. Everything's going to be okay. I feel like you've been worrying a lot lately. And she's just sort of there just to offer you some comfort. And she wants you to know that she's guiding you. You just really have to pay attention and listen. Listen to those those gut feelings that you're getting, follow that because that's her helping and guiding you in the right direction um, as well. Another message from your mom is um, she's uh, I, there's like a is it health? Yeah, I was gonna say there's there's something that she's a little bit concerned about and she wants for you to really take care of yourself and go back. I feel like there's something about your health that you're neglecting or you're not following through with. Just go and, and get that checked, please. And she is concerned. It's, it's, I, I don't want you to get scared. It's nothing like. No, um, no it's not. It's not bad. It, it, it is something that needs to be checked out. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling a little bit concerned with that from her. Uh, please get that looked at. Mm -hmm. and, and, Everything will be fine. I'm not feeling anything bad, but it would be better if you we were able to do that. But she is offering a lot of comfort, yes. a lot of comfort and peace. She's there. And I, she's I, almost yep. like a hug. Very much with you. Very mm -hmm. much with you. I want to read this one really quickly. Uh, Teresa Lynn Perkins. I know this is kind of a point blank, blank question. I've landed the job of my dreams, and now I'm working on getting my own car and apartment. Do you see me doing either of these? Yes, is the answer. Absolutely yes. Oh, yes. Uh, absolutely. Teresa, the one thing that I want to do is I... Uh, I want to uh, make sure that your expectations are realistic. That's what I need you to do. Um, I love the trajectory that you're on. I love how you're seeing things. And uh, I think you're kind of using the secret right now. You're, mm -hmm. Everything's yeah. positive, vision boards, the whole thing. You're putting it out there and it's working. And that works. It does work. It does work, guys. Um, it's just the, the fact that um, you're going to have to take a couple of baby steps when it comes to the things that you're needing past this point. So what I'd like for you to do is just... Uh, Prepare and accept what the universe has in store for you. There's better things coming, um, mm -hmm. but this next step, there's a reason that you're going to be in this next position. And it's not a bad one. It's just a next level uh, before you progress even higher. And one more thing before you do that. This is something that came to you right now as you were saying that. One more thing that you do need to focus on is sort of... Uh, uh, like a fleshing out or a cleansing or refreshing of old energies, get rid of those old energies to accept new ones, okay? So you kind of have to do, kind of like when we do a cleaning of our home, a thorough cleaning, yeah. you kind of have to do that energy-wise, mentally, ideas, all that old feelings that no longer serve you, time to let those go and to accept all those new things that are coming into your life. Um, oh, can I jump in another Sure. Because I, I, I want we're doing readings and stuff, and it's awesome having fun doing it, but... We've got a question, and I love this because this mixes up the show a little bit. Yeah, it's not just okay. reading, 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 mm -hmm. reading. Here's our events, you know. Um, so Joyce Wilson uh, Campos mm -hmm. uh, says, "What do you, what do you to think about earthbound spirits?" Thanks. Oh, now nice that's question. a great okay. question. That's something we can that's touch base on here. Uh -huh. um, do you want to start? Or do you want me to kick in? Um, go ahead. Oh yeah. So from what I understand in the use of the ghost box and some of the other research that I've done throughout the years and uh, EVP sessions, open airs, all those kind of things. Uh, one thing that seems consistent uh, with the earthbound spirit aspect of things is the reason that they, the spirit leaves the body that's dying and then they, if they're an intelligent spirit, what will happen is they'll see the light, you know, we all see the light, heaven, have whatever you want to call it, and they'll move through that light. They'll actually move on to the other side. Now, once they do that, they're empowered. They know who they are. They know where they are. They can communicate with us here freely. They can come and go as they please. Mm -hmm. 
um, there is no limitation for an intelligent spirit. And now, they understand where they're at. They right? t- you know, it's, everything's mm-hmm. conscious. It's very conscious. And they're learning lessons and working with teams. And it, it's a very conscious thing. Now, the earthbound spirit aspect, okay? So the same thing happens when they pass. They leave the dying body. They move out. And they start moving towards the light. But here's the thing that happens. As they're moving towards that light, they suddenly fear what's on the other side mm-hmm. and they think that maybe it's a trick so what they do is they stay away from that light they move away from that they're no longer able to go back to the earth plane so they're stuck in what a lot of people catholics call purgatory which basically is an existence that doesn't involve any companionship there's no time um, they're very much alone it's almost like a dream state and they're left going over the regrets that they had during their lifetime. So it's, it's kind like of like self, self-imposed punishment. Yeah. And mm-hmm. what's interesting is when you are, are doing communication with spirit and you ask the spirit, um, why don't you move through the other side? They say, you know, they fear the fire and brimstone that's mm-hmm. waiting for them on the other I mean, side. There's punishment. Okay. There is no punishment on the other side. When you talk to an intelligent spirit, they tell you every single energy, spirit energy, ends up in the same place. So it really is a self-imposed punishment. Um, it's very difficult for earthbound spirits to communicate um, because it's almost like we're, when we try to talk to them, we're infiltrating their dreams. And that's from our side on the earth plane using uh, communication devices or, or mediumship abilities. Or if a uh, spirit is trying to reach out to them, it's the same thing. They're, they're very confused. Is this real? Is this reality? Is this really even happening? They lose a grip on, on even their death from time to time. Can I, can I add to that? Yes. One thing that I believe, and this is just through, you know, communication with spirit and, and having experiences, communicating. Uh, one thing that I believe, because I see it and I think, you know, it seems, uh, now we don't know, I don't, I can't say for certain because, you know, but it seems to me to be that when they're stuck in that middle ground, like we are saying, that self-imposed punishment, mm-hmm. the length of time, now remember, to them there is no time, but the length of time that they are stuck in that also depends, in a way, that's kind of Kind of like karma, it it almost depends. It it depends on what they feel they're going to receive that punishment for, like what they've done. And that middle ground serves as a time for them to reflect, a time for them to learn, a time for them to try and and raise themselves up to the next level. And that's like, okay, you didn't get if you didn't learn while you were here, you're going to learn while you're there. And when you're ready, and when you realize, and once you've done your time there then that's when the spirit realizes, oh, wait a minute, I can move on. Absolutely. And they've, So they've kind of, they've served their time in that middle ground and then they can move on. And I mean, Yeah, remember guys, it's, it's lessons in everything that we do, whether, mm-hmm. whether we're here on the earth plane, in the middle ground, um, if we've ascended to a higher level, we're always learning, we're always moving, we're always ascending. You know, life, mm-hmm. life and afterlife would become boring if, if it was just what it is right now. So remember, we're always moving, we're always ascending. Um, I wanted to really quickly jump in. Teresa Lynn Perkins, we did a reading for a minute ago, said, Thank you, Mooney and Dee. I so needed to hear your encouraging positive words. Thank you, too, so very much. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. I love helping and spreading those messages. Cora Mosher, I just want to say congratulations. She says, Mooney and Dee, I found another job. Cora, it makes me so happy to hear that. And I, it just, it, it fills my heart with joy and happiness for you. I can feel that relief that you must be feeling because when we talked, girl, I told you, I said, you know what? Don't worry. I feel it. It's coming. You're gonna, it, you're gonna find it. And I'm so happy to hear that it, it happened for you. That, that just, it makes my day. Um, Joanne Ward says, I really would appreciate to know if Eric would show himself to me. Of course, he's on the other side. Um, Joanne, I feel like he's been trying, and I do have to say that, like he's been trying, but. But it, it, there's something that's that's uh, causing that blockage. Well, and here's the thing, guys. You have to realize how much energy it takes for them to actually project out the human image again. Um, I always equate it, and I'm not trying to, to make light of it, but I always equate it to, you know, the, the scene in Star Wars where you get R2-D2 projecting out Princess Leia uh, in the 3D hologram. That's a robot doing it, and it's fantasy. But <laughs> when it comes down to it, that's kind of what spirits explain they have to do. We see that... That orb light, that orb energy, we're not talking dust and false positives, we're talking about true spirit energy. Mm -hmm. What they have to do is actually project out the human image from that light source, from that energy source. So um, one thing I always tell people is, you know, be patient, guys, be patient. Um, Sometimes it's it's kind of funny in a way. Um, People report back, they're like, you know, I I asked them to show themselves, but all I saw was a leg. 
or all I saw was a shoulder. No, all I saw, that's but that's good. that's them just trying to show you, mm-hmm. hey, I'm trying to do this. And uh, if you're willing to work with them, they will communicate with you most effectively in dreams. That's so, the easiest way. You know, John Ward. What I was getting at is that I do feel like he's tried, and maybe I do pay attention to your dreams and pay attention to, you know, even though if he can't show himself fully. Just pay attention to the feelings you get in those dreams because I guarantee you he's been trying to communicate with you through dreams and through feelings. I get the word feelings. It's through feelings with her. Emotions. Emotions, feelings. So in in a way, you got to give him credit where credit's due. I feel like he's been doing that. He's doing an outstanding amount Mm -hmm. of things. It's just that he's trying so hard to, to do what you need him to do. And, and he might not know how to do it yet. You know, we don't understand how that ascension level works. But it will happen. I do guarantee you it will happen. And then soon in a, in a couple of episodes, you're going to be like, oh, my God, D and Moon, you were right. It happened. I, just believe me. You're going to get a feeling. You're going to see a butterfly, some gust of wind, and you're going to remember this moment. You're going to say, oh, my God, he showed himself. It was yeah, through be, feeling. Be patient. Be patient. It will happen. I promise you. I wanted to touch base on one here. Uh, Cheryl, who's, who's a great client of mine, uh, Cheryl Higgs, says, please help. My sister needs your help. She's dealing with deep depression, anger, and devastation with the loss of our dad. She needs your guidance and direction. Thank you very much. Love you guys. Um, Cheryl, um, I, and I, I can feel this, her her way of grieving is much different than yours. And I feel like right now, it's almost like she's speaking Greek in the whole situation. No one's understanding uh, what her uh, what the loss means to her. I don't think she's expressing it. Uh, and no one's hearing her. So she definitely needs to be heard, and she she could probably use an outside source to come in and uh, help with that. I think that that everyone who's there is a little bit too close to it. I also feel like she's shutting down quite a bit, Um, and if she's shutting down, that's not going to be good for anybody. So uh, just keep talking to her, keep encouraging her. And the most important thing, Cheryl, and I think you know this already, is listen. That's Um, right. She doesn't really want the advice. She doesn't really want the opinion. She just wants you to sit there and hear what she has to say. Um, so, you know, encourage everybody in the family in that sense. Um, of course, uh, Cheryl, if, if you feel like it, it would be a good idea, I'm always happy to do a, a reading uh, to try to bring, you know, some voices through if that, if you feel like that would be a healing process. You know, sometimes we have to sit down and evaluate. Is it going to be more healing for her or is it just going to open up some wounds for her? So um, I'd like to talk to you if, we, if we're going to do any kind of session. I'd like to talk to you beforehand uh, before making any decision on that uh, when we go from there. Mm-hmm. So hopefully that helps. Um, real quick, I want to say hi to Linda Marquis. She says, hey, Mooney and Dee, a little late, but I made it. Mm-hmm. Hi. And Anita Mewen, did you already read this one? Uh, hello, guys, the new guy coming? No, we haven't read this no. one yet. Okay, so, so Anita Mewen says, hello, guys, the new guy coming into my life later this year. Will it be short or long term? And is it the lo- is he the love of my life? Also, maybe a less initial? Thanks. Okay, well, that's a lot of people, but I will tell you this. The, the person that you're going to meet this year, it's not going to be a short-term thing. It is going to last a while. There are going to be a few bumps in the road, though. Um, I'm not sure if this is the one. Are you getting that feeling? I was going to say, I do see this as long-term, but I'm not seeing this as the permanent. Okay. So I feel like this might be... And it's going to happen for a reason. There's a lot of learning and growing that's going to happen with this one. Um but just just look out for it. Um, I, I I'm not getting an initial. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not. I don't know if Mooney is getting any sort of. I keep getting G. Is okay. Oh well, well, keep that in mind. A G. Um, but I'm not. Uh, but I just do feel that it's gonna be a long a long term. It's presents. It's not gonna be like a month or two months. You're gonna. It's gonna be quite a while, and a lot of good's gonna come out of it. I just, I'm not certain, I, I wasn't certain if I was picking up on this is going to be the one when he says he feels like there's going to be another one after, so. But try not to, see now that's kind of the, the mess that we have with doing this. <laughs> yeah. We're trying not to inter- interfere in your lives, you know, we don't want to come in there and say, well, you know, treat it this way or treat it that way. Well, it's up to you, really, it's up to you, really. I mean, if you, if, if, if you're like, okay, this is the one and, and I feel like I don't want to meet, then it's up to you. I mean, remember, you can also make that change now if the universe says no this is not my plan for you things will happen to pull you away from this individual but i mean all in all it is up to you it is up to you and you have the power to make that change in those decisions in your life so i want to read one really quickly it just popped up in front of me it says melanie and uh my son was hit by a car today on riding his bike he is okay just wondering if they will find the driver hit and run in Ontario. Yeah, uh, I am feeling that uh, he's going to be brought to justice fairly quickly. Um, I think he might turn himself in. I'm getting the guilt aspect of it. Um, 
yeah, I do see that coming back pretty quickly. So expect that to happen. Uh, it's a terrible thing what he did, um, but uh, you know, try to, and I know this is hard to do, try mm -hmm. to have compassion, try, try to forgive uh, the best that you possibly can. You don't want to carry around that anger with you. Um, and believe me, you're talking to the parents here. We, we know our kids are everything to us. We've never wanted anything bad happen mm -hmm. to them. So, um, yeah, but I do feel like that's going to happen. Um, Nathan Vare says, my name is Nathan Vare. My grandma passed about two years ago, and I was wondering if she had a message for me. Thanks. Mm. I see. Okay, so I'm not getting a message, but I do want to tell you that she is uh, watching closely. Um, there's a lot of uh, pride with her. Um, I'm not getting her saying anything. I'm not getting it, but I, I see her looking at you uh, with a sense of pride. Um, so I feel like she's really not surprised, but she, she's just very proud of you, how far you've come uh, in this situation. And uh, she's she just wants to let you know, hey, I'm there. Um, and, and she's watching out. Yeah, as you were saying that, I kept getting a vision of, of, of an older woman just sort of giving that that... Um, acknowledgement wave saying yes I'm here yes I'm here and not saying anything just like you said not saying anything it's more of a picture yeah just sort of get, giving that acknowledgement wave um, but you know what she is she does see you she does see you and she sees people around you as well that are very close to you um, she sees them as well yeah. and she has a, an interest in 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 it's like she wants to know how is everyone, how are you doing, how are the people around you doing, are you on the right, you know, she's, she's got that, like in, yeah. yeah, yeah, like if she was alive, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good way to put it. I'm Melanie Ann about her sending him, so thank you so much. So you're most welcome. Um, da, 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 let's see here, uh, Joanne Ward says, I really miss seeing your guys' videos. Uh, maybe make miniature videos of your places you go for people they can't see them, so appreciate it. So that uh, reminds me, guys, uh, we do Box Talk every single week. We're here every Wednesday mm -hmm. um, from 8.30 till 9.30 Central Standard Time, so you can always watch us free. Um, and then we do a lot of uh, Facebook Live videos from, That's right. from my page. You can always mm -hmm. watch from my page. And then I also have a YouTube channel that has become our YouTube channel, really, <laughs> uh, which is Man Is The Moon. That's Man is the moon. Mm -hmm. And you can go there and subscribe and watch all the videos that we do and all the places that we go and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, the only thing that we're doing right now um, that's a subscription service is our Ghost Box Chronicles Live. And um, that show, uh, I believe, you can actually subscribe to the whole network for mm -hmm. under $13 a month. You can watch all the, all the programming, shows which is insane. That's and it's a, it's a lot. Stuff. If you like paranormal, paranormal, psychic, Supernatural, that that you got to you got to do it. Yeah, um, yeah, it's amazing. But the other thing is, you can just subscribe to our show, and that's like two ninety nine an episode. It's very very inexpensive. You can watch the whole thing, interact, uh, take polls. It's it's a whole interesting thing. Um, so uh, you can always uh, check us out there as well. And of course, we want you to follow us there. But you can always find us here free, and you can always find the videos that we do um, uh, of all the locations and trips and stuff up on YouTube, manisthemoon.com. Uh, at youtube.com, sorry. Um, real quick, I just want to say Clancy's watching. Hey, Thank Clancy. Clancy. Love you, Clancy. Thanks for watching and joining in. Uh, hello, Julie Cole. She's in there. Um, uh, Joanne Ward says, I have no way to see you guys. I would appreciate to know how Eric would show himself to me. Thanks. Again, Joanne, uh, we mentioned that it would be through feelings. That's why I said uh, feelings, feelings, right. feelings. So I, that's what I get. I feel like he's going to show himself. It's going to be sentence. It's going to be feelings, emotions. That's how he's going to show himself to you. You're going to sense him. This one just jumped out at me. Uh, Marcy Elizabeth Walker really seriously needing to know if I have good spirits protecting me or bad spirits around me, hampering me. Okay, Marcy, so one thing I do want to say is that in every situation that each one of us is in, we have a mix that's mm -hmm. around us all the time. So you have your guides, you get your angels that are around you trying to work one way, and then you get the, the creepy bad energies that try to get in there and make you feel certain ways. And the reason mm -hmm. they, they try to make you feel sad and depressed and frightened and all those kind of emotions is because those negative entities feed on that emotion. So what we always tell people to do is really just kind of try to focus on the positive the best you can 
And you'll be surprised uh, just with a positive outlook how, how you can keep your, your guides and your angels right there with you. And I also encourage people, and I know Dee does too, mm-hmm. to speak out to your angels, to speak to your guides and say, yes. hey guys, this is how I'm feeling. Um, I need your help. Please be with you. me. Um, this is what I want to see happen. Uh, assist me in getting to where I want to be. Mm-hmm. Please protect me from any negativity that's there. These are things that we do on a consistent basis every single that's day. That's right. And uh, it, really, it really keeps us moving in the right direction. Um, you haven't read this one right from Tammy Hicks. It's just it's jumping no. out at me. Okay, so listen to this. It says, "Last two. This is from Tammy Hicks. Last two months have been really rough for me. I wonder if things for me will be getting will begin to get better for me. I got betrayal news this week. It has dragged me down. Had a bird fly into my porch area and just hung out with me for a few. Could this be my father? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yes. Yeah. I did. I immediately. I was found mm-hmm. in that Yes. Um, I think he's around you right now because you've been feeling so down. Because he's offering that sort of. He wants to be there as a comfort, as a guidance, as to let you know that you are not alone and you're not facing these challenges and these things on your own. Um, it's funny that I had to read this question right after what you said. Speak out to your guides. Mm-hmm. Speak out to your angels. Let them know what you need. They hear you. Um, it's very important for you, uh, Tammy. To understand that your angels, if you speak your what it is that you need and you, you know you talk to them, communicate with them, they will hear you and they will go to work on your behalf. They will fix whatever it is when you put your intent pure, pure intent out into the universe and you really have this that you're saying this is what I need and you're putting it out with positivity and with pure intentions. They will immediately go to work on your behalf. They will fix that problem for you. Once it's done, they say, okay, here it is. They just throw it back into your timeline. And now it's just about patience and about faith and about keeping that your heart pure and knowing, okay, I'm going to get there. They fixed it for me. I just have to reach that point in time. And it's about keeping the faith and keeping focus. Because once you start to lose that faith and negativity starts to creep in, that's when things start to happen and it's things start to, to fall apart. Yeah. It's hard to get that mentality mm-hmm. back. And we've all done that. Oh, you know, yeah, I've been, done it many oh, times. That negative creeps in and, oh, what was me? What am I mm-hmm. going to do? Help, help, help. Um, so, yeah, try to keep that mindset up all the time. Really important. Hey, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please, one more time, if you would hit the share button at the bottom of the uh, please, please share. thing here and just tell everybody where you're at and that you're hanging out with crazy people and uh, having fun. So, once again, love all, each and every one of you. Thank you all for coming in tonight. I want to read one here uh, that says, uh, from Terry Lynn Kolajak, I think that's right, Kolajak, mm-hmm. uh, says, I am new here, Mooney and D, hello, my name is Terry, uh, what do you see for the business I am starting up, good and bad, what do you see me launching, what do you see me launching, when do you see me launching it, okay, okay, uh, okay so I see it as risky right yeah. now, um, but when I say risky, it's not bad risky, it's just that you already understand this is not something that, that uh, uh, is a, a high demand kind of thing. Um, Can I say something real quick? Mm-hmm. I do feel that this is the right move for you. In not, I mean, what you're saying, yes, risky, yes, he's 100%. But I feel it's the right move for you because I feel that like your personality, you're best to go into business for yourself. But with that being said, mm-hmm. what, you, what you're talking about, about the risk, very important. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as the time, there's no better time than now. Uh, one thing I will tell you is, is you need to uh, get out of this retrograde <laughs> before you start any new project, guys. Don't sign contracts. Don't do oh. anything uh, as far as starting a new project uh, while you're in the retrograde period. It's just not a good idea. It just doesn't work out well. Um, I'm going to pull this here. This is interesting. Um, when I, I was thinking about you, and I don't know if this makes sense to you, but this is the card that I pulled as far as the life purpose card. It says children. Uh, your life purpose uh, involves helping, teaching, and healing children, and that's what it looks like right there. So um, I think that, that comes up around you, and I think that there is something to do with that. And while he was pulling that card, and I was trying to focus in on what you were saying about your your business and, and, and you know the risk and all that, um, this is the one that I pulled, create a project. I don't know the two tie in together. If maybe if it brings an idea to you, um, just go with that. This is create a project your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. So there's that one. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it all kind of works together. Um, I also want to pull a card for Nicole Konetsny. From Pennsylvania, can you help me to know if there are any health messages for me? Thank you. And that one popped out on me because I do feel that right now you're taking on a lot. 
you're taking on almost too much. There's a lot of things around you, and there's a lot of confusion when it comes to your health because it. I feel like a lot of a big part of it has to do. I, I I'm just gonna say it. Pain and fatigue. Do you get that same thing mm-hmm. with her? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it, I feel like one of the main. Now this isn't the only reason. You still please follow up with the doctor. But something that's really triggering all this with you is health. Health for sure. Um, uh, sorry, it's stress. Uh, I, was, I was thinking of the word health as I as I pull it. When no, I, I know what you're One of the things that that's triggering this is uh, stress. It's triggering your health to, to go. Um, but let me. Uh, I'll give you our Archangel Michael card for her. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. It says, "Let go of fear now." This says to me that I think instead of focusing on, uh, obviously you're concerned, you're worried about your health, let go of that fear and just focus upon what can you do to make things better. And I think you already know the answer to that. Um, I think you already know what you have to do to get yourself back on the right track and uh, really follow up with a, with a healthcare professional, please. Um, I feel like that's very, very important because there's something that's being missed, okay? Absolutely, I agree with that. Uh, Melanie Ann says, I need to book a reading soon. Melanie, just uh, get in touch with us. Uh, you can get us on the Box Talk page mm-hmm. or either one of our private profiles and we can get a reading set up for you. Thank you. Um, I want to read this one really quick. This is important. Uh, Rachel Monique Springman says, Hi, Mooney and Dee. Can a baby who passes away send messages to loved ones? We just lost our 11 day old grandson and we're heartbroken. I'm so sorry, Rachel. That is terrible. Uh, Margaret followed it up with, Rachel, the answer is yes, honey. Uh, my daughter passed at birth. And Mooney has communicated with her. Yeah, I have. Um, that's something we can do. Uh, uh, spirit, it, it's, it's different than you would think it would be. Um, children who cross back over to the other side do have the ability to communicate, and they also have uh, loved ones around who, who do some communications as well. Um, a lot of the times that we lose children, and it, it's heartbreaking stuff, we're devastating, terrible. Um, those children oftentimes... Uh, if they're not with us for long here, they will come back again, um, sometimes in our lifetime. So um, hold on to that faith. Hold, hold on to that hope. Uh, if there's ever a time that you feel like you need uh, that, that uh, communication, you can always reach out to me. But for now, just sending blessings to you and, and your family and love. Definitely. So. Um, Cheryl Collada Higgs says, Will my sister ever get through her depression, anger, devastation with the loss of our dad? She's really having a tough time. I already answered that one. Oh, you did? I did. Okay, sorry. I did. I already got that one. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see here. I'm way behind then. Yeah, we're, we're way, you're way back. I'm, I'm kind of at the end here. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, Rebecca Price says, thank you so much. Do you know if my grandma is happy with where we are? Happy? Yeah, I'd say happy. Um, content might be a word. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that, that's kind of what I get from that one. Um, content. Yeah, more. yeah, that's what I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, I had another one. Okay, I'm going to read this one really quickly. Uh, this one is from Richard Kafferke. Mm-hmm. Um, it's come up several times, and it's been getting me, and I haven't been able to read it each time. Please help. I've seen the other side. I died as a child, and I came back ever since, said event, I'm connected to the other side, mainly in dreams, but I keep having evil approaching me or trying to trick me in my dreams. Please, what can I do to block it out? Um, Okay, so Richard, uh, near-death experiences, I've had one. Um, When I was two years old, I wrote about in my book, when I was two years old, I actually uh, drowned and uh, was very much on the other side and came back. And uh, I personally believe that, that this does tie us in with that other world, I think once you take a step, step into it, um, you don't ever fully get back. Um, some of the best mediums in the world are what I call reluctant mediums, uh, people who've had experiences and it scares them to death. Um, some of the experiences you're having, I'm sure, are terrifying, um, but I do feel that it's very important um, that you start uh, reaching out to your guides in your angels because you need to counterbalance. You really need to start uh, finding out and getting some clarity um, exactly who's there, who's protecting you, and what these other entities that you're talking about might want. Um, It it might be just what you're thinking. It might be some terrible things that are reaching out and and harassing you. But on the other hand, it may be something uh, where these entities are reaching out for solution. So um, 
that would be my advice to you. If we can help you with that, we'd be happy to. Can we get in touch with us? Um, uh, D pull some cards. I pull. I actually was pulling cards as I was looking at another question oh. uh, for Sandy uh, Griffin because she says, "Hi, Moon and D. Just wondering, will I ever get rid of this feeling of doom hanging over me?" And I wanted to pull several cards just so I could sort of look at them, analyze them, and give you an answer to this question. Now, I think this feeling of doom that's hanging over you has to do with more than just one aspect of your life. One of the things that I am going to tell you that I'm getting and I'm feeling very strongly is that there's a lot of times that you keep certain things to yourself. You bury them inside and you you really you, you try to deal with it alone without sort of... It's almost like you're there for others, but then you keep to yourself. You have that wallop without even wanting to have that wallop. You just... You don't tell you don't open up easily it's almost like you don't want to bother people with what you have inside and and it, it starts to build up and it starts to build up another thing that i'm getting is that you're very hard on yourself you're uh, when things don't go a certain way or when you think you haven't done things to the best of your ability you're extremely hard on yourself and i'm here to tell you that you need to be a little bit more gentle with yourself you need to start giving yourself credit where credit's due you need to start being more forgiving of yourself because you're doing everything to the best of your ability and you're doing things right. Um, try to remember that. Try to remember that you're doing everything the best that you can. And, and, and that will probably help get your, your self-worth up a little bit higher. There's a lot of worries around you. Um, but one thing that you need to know is that you're, you're a lot stronger than you're giving yourself credit for. Um, I think that you can face these challenges and these changes that you're in the midst of. Also, um, your finances is something that's worrying you big time, and um, I feel like that's going to work itself out in time. I do see a move coming, and I don't think it as a physical move so much as moving away from a certain situation. So I, I almost feel like that cycle you're in right now, it's going to come to an end, but it's going to take some time, and it's going to be frustrating, but it's, it's going to take a lot of patience, and it's something that you feel that you're running out of. I feel like you're always seeking what's next, what's next, and that's good. It's good not to lose sight of that. But just remember that what you seek is also seeking you. So you will eventually find that in the right time. Um, things will get better for you, but it's, it is going to take a lot of work. Once they do get better, it, it's, it's going to be that feeling of doom that you feel. It, 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 it's going to go away. And I almost feel like you need to meditate and clear that energy. Um, now I'm getting a little confused with that move. Do you feel like it's a physical move or like a situational? Yeah, I do feel like it's physical. Then, then, then it's physical. So yeah, I, I, I got confused on that. I said situational, but then I started to feel like it might be a physical move coming up because it, it crosses the finances card. So that might be something. But I feel like that's going to be a good thing for her, don't you? Mm -hmm. I do okay. feel that. So uh, really quickly, I want to follow up with, with Richard Kafka. He says he's very emotional right now after the reading. Thank you, Mooney. Much love and light. Thanks, of course. Happy to help in any way. You can always reach out to us. We're always happy to help you. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting ready to wrap the show, and we want to stay on track for Paranormal Warehouse because they have programming that they're putting on tonight. So I just want to say uh, thank you all for tuning in tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, if you'd like to book a private reading with us, uh, you can always reach out to us through the Box Talk uh, public page. You can also reach out to us through our um, personal profiles or our public pages. Yeah, Here. guys, message us on our personal profiles, message us on our Box Talk uh, fan page, uh, message us there, get us on Twitter. I'm uh, D Paranormal on Twitter, um, Men is Moon on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So you can just message us. You can us find us anywhere. Can, but we're happy to help, guys. And we, we really appreciate you guys tuning in tonight again and spending the night with us. We really do appreciate that. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again here next Wednesday mm -hmm. and go from there. So love you guys. Love you guys very much. And that's it for tonight, right? That's it. See you online. Smile. And remember to make someone else smile too. Don't forget to book your reading, guys. We're here. Bye, guys. Bye.